Hello there, you're watching Dansky, the place to be to develop your creative skills and grow as a designer. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to organize layers in Adobe Photoshop. So to start with, I've got a homepage design on here that I've produced, and if I open up the layers panel in Photoshop, whew, you can see that that is a mess. Mess, 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 mess. So not many layers are named some of them are but it's just a big old jumble and for someone else or a developer to open that it's probably going to give them a headache so we can tidy that up so one way that i like to do this is when i'm going through the creative process and i'm working with a client on a design i'm sending it to them i'm getting feedback i'm making changes and there's a lot of back and forth working up to that final design i like to name my layers and keep some of them organized but because it's mostly me just going to be working on that file I don't worry about it too much because I'm focusing on just really quickly experimenting with ideas you know kind of just getting the design right the client isn't actually going to see any of these layers or anything so I don't really need to polish that up and organize it until the end when I supply the actual PSD file. If you are working with other designers or people that will use this file, it's generally best practice to organize your layers as you go. I know if my, some of my ex-colleagues are watching this, they're going to tell me off because I never used to do that. But, you know, in my defense, I was really busy, okay? I was, I was, I was doing, like, important stuff. But generally, best practice. Try and keep them organized if you're going to be working with other people. If you're not, phew. Don't worry about it, you know, do that at the end. That's how I like to work anyway. If you've got a different way of working, let me know in the comments. It would be awesome to hear from you. Okay, so we've got a very, very messy file here. I'm ready to supply it. The client has approved the design, yay. What we can do now is go through and you can see I've got some locked layers here. So we can switch this off and back on again. Okay, so that's the product with the fire burning. Great, let's just unlock that. In fact, no, let's keep that locked for a second. The first thing we're going to do is we'll, we'll box off this navigation bar. So at the moment, I've got this image, this fiery image locked. Great, I can't select it by mistake. So what I'm going to do is just drag with my mouse over everything in the top nav. And you're going to want to have this selected here, auto select with the main selection tool. So just make sure that that is ticked and you have layer selected from the drop down here. Now I've dragged over everything here and you can see that if I scroll, we've got the layers selected. At the moment, they are all over the place. They are scattered around, okay? So what I'm going to do is with all of those selected, I'm going to go to layer and down to group layers. Now that's command or control G and we've got those in group five. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move that group five to the top so if I go to layer and arrange and go bring to front, you've got the shortcut keys here. It will move it right to the top and I can call this navigation. Now, have I dragged over anything and caught anything I didn't want to within that folder? Switch it off. Okay, good. It's just the navigation. So it's just the navigation in that folder. That's all good. Let's color it blue, which means yay, all done. Okay. I can switch that off now. I know that that is done. Next, I'm going to drag over the text here and the call to action. Okay, so we've grabbed a white box from somewhere. So what we're going to do is undo that movement. And we need to figure out where that box came from. So we can scroll down through the layers. And I think it might be this one here, rectangle two, copy seven. So we can hold shift. No, we can hold command or control. And we'll deselect that one layer. Let's try moving that around again. Okay, great. We've got just the text and the call to action selected. So again, we can go to layer and group layers. And now another group five. And we can use the shortcut key to bring that back to the front. And we'll drop this just under navigation. So we'll call this text and CTA. CTA is short for call to action, so the button. Switch it off. Fantastic. So that one is done as well. We're going to make that blue, switch it off. So do you see what we're doing? We're going through everything and we're selecting each element individually, setting it in a group. And then once it's done, we're switching it off. So ultimately at the end, what we're going to have is we will have a completely blank PSD and we'll have lots of blue folders. So let's go through here. We've got the earn money banner. Okay. That's doing something a bit weird there. Let's have a look at those layers. So we've got this banner 
here within this folder. So we'll hold command or control and just click to select that. Now what we can do is also use the arrow keys. So we'll just nudge this to the left a bit. Great, okay, we've got just that banner moving. So again, we can go up to layer, down to group layers. It pops it in another group five and we'll bring that all the way to the front and just drop it down under text and CTA. And we'll call this banner one. And let's just turn that off and back on. Great, we've just got banner one, let's switch it off. We'll do the same again. I'll try and do these next few really quickly. Banner two, let's just check that works. Yep, fantastic, and we've got the last banner here. So we're just selecting it, grouping it, and then sending it to the top. We test by turning it off, back on. All good, it goes blue. We've got the footer. Again, we'll group, we'll call this footer. Switch it off, fantastic. Now, what else have we got? We've got the left and the right arrows here, and we have the dots that represent which is the active slide in the carousel. Okay, they are selected. We will group those. We will put them up here somewhere, and we'll call those Carousel, if I can spell that correctly, we'll call it Carousel UI. Switch it to blue, we'll turn it off. Great. And the last bit now, left, is just this background image. So we've got these layers here that all make it up, lots of complicated layers. Let's just switch or unlock all of those. So we've got lots of layers here. And we can select this one here, so Hibernate. You can see there's loads of stuff going on in there. We can organize that later on. So we've got all these layers. We're going to hold shift to select all of them. And we'll go to layer group. And we're going to call this hero. So this is going to be the hero section on our homepage. And we'll move this up and down. Remember to quickly move things up and down. It's definitely worth learning these shortcuts. So we'll move this into position. We need to move this up, but we need to keep it under the carousel UI. So if I move it above, you'll see that it goes on top of those UI elements. So we have to position these folders and organize them in the correct order. Switch it off, switch it on. Woo, great. We can make that blue. And there we go, we have a blank PSD. We have these random groups here. If you have any layers that you'd switched off, you will see these here as well. So at the end of the footer and between the background layer we have at the bottom. So I think that background is a slightly off-white, very, very light gray, which is what I've gone for. And any other layers, you can see they're just empty folders now. We can just select those by holding shift and clicking and then hitting delete or backspace. And this is what we're left with. We have an artboard called desktop. We have all the elements of our page that we can easily switch on and off. And we have the background. In fact, I'm just gonna put the background in its own layer as well, or its own folder, and just call that BG, just because it's nice and organized and consistent and stuff. So what we can do now is we can go through each one in turn. In fact, I can switch all the others off. We'll go through the navigation, and we'll just collapse these here so we don't have all those effects showing. And we can bring the layers panel out if we need to. And I can switch these on and off and just give them a name. So we can double click on the text and we can name all of these individual layers. So we have a login button over here on the right. So I can select both of these elements. We'll call this box and we can select both of them and then do the same thing again. We'll go group and we can call this CTA or button and we'll move that to the top. So you can have folders within folders, but once you've done that very first kind of top layer of foldering, you can then go into each one and just organize it even more. So for this one here, we've got the Highburn 8, that's the product. We could call this one Effects. So if I switch that on, you can't really see much difference there. It's very, very subtle, but you can go in and you can organize everything with a little more detail. So what have we got here? We've got the right arrow and we've got the left arrow. Let's add that back in there. And we can go with, we'll go with the dot. I'm mean, just copy and paste that text and add it all the way down. 
and the one on the left dot we'll call this the active dot which represents the active carousel slide and then ultimately at the end you can supply your client or your developer with a nicely organized PSD file and everything will be layered and it will just be so much easier for them to work with or if you have a colleague who's going to be opening this file they will love you for it because everything is nice and organized and they can just work with it a lot easier so there we go that is how to organize layers in adobe photoshop as always guys please feel free to leave any questions or comments below like this video if you enjoyed it take care and i'll see you next time Oh, I think I got that in one take. Well done. That's that's me patting myself on the back. Well done. Yeah. <laughs>